A common sight in Jerusalem these days, gas mask distribution, as a possible armed conflict with Iran seems to be looming. Mihal Shatrit brought her children here to get outfitted. I hope we will not need the mask. We will not have to use them. It is very, very scary. Every day brings new rumors and theories. Alon Ben David, a prominent Israeli TV reporter, says the Netanyahu government is ramping up preparations for a strike against Iran's nuclear facilities. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appears very determined to launch a strike against Iran before U.S. elections. That means before November. So any time between now and November is the window of opportunity. An upcoming report by the International Atomic Energy Agency is expected to find that Iran may be accelerating work on its nuclear program. And with Tehran recently showing off new short-range missiles, Israel's leadership believes there is little time left to act, says Ben David. His sense is that these are the last minutes to remove that existential threat from Israel, what he sees in his eyes as existential threat. And, and he really believes that if he won't do it, no one else will. A direct swipe at the U.S. Washington is against unilateral Israeli action. The Obama administration saying there is still time for sanctions to work. And even a majority of Israelis believe their country should not go it alone, according to a recent poll. Political analyst Uri Dromi believes the Netanyahu government isn't doing enough to get the American government on board. I'm surprised that he's not... Um uh, working enough to gain the confidence of uh, the American administration um, and other uh, elements uh, to gain support for this. As Israel ramps up its preparations for repercussions of a possible strike against Iran's nuclear facilities, many here fear they might be involved in a war before year's end. But just how close Israel really is to launching a strike on Iran's nuclear facilities remains unclear. Some analysts say if they were really on the brink of an attack, they certainly wouldn't be talking so much about it. Fred Plaik in CNN, Jerusalem.